Pep, um, you're in the quarterfinals again, six year in a row, which is an achievement, but how much do you want to win this competition? A lot. <laughs> the failure won, I won this competition, yeah, definitely. We want, we want to try, it's an honor to be here against the elite club like Bayern Munich, and yeah, we are happy to be here. Happy to be here. Only I can say so. It's not for granted, you have to deserve it, you have to play good two games and try to do the first tomorrow, and, and that's all. But you know that question is coming at you all the time. Until no, it came from it. six, seven years ago when I arrived here, when I was appointed, when I was playing against the Stock Cities and on in the Premier League the first game, so you are here to win the Champions League. It's come every single season, I understand that, so I had said many times. We tried last season, we tried two seasons ago, we tried three seasons ago, every single season, but there are teams that you face that also they are good too and they want to win it too. And My ambitions, I don't know the ambitions in their own lives and every one of you, the people around the world, ambitions to be perfect in everywhere. So, so my ambitions is below so I like to be in the Premier League where we are in the FA Cup play the semi-finals being here again that is my, my dream to, you know to leave it to leave it again being here in front of you in a Champions League competition and we want to try like we tried all the time but that doesn't mean it's going to win no no yesterday played the master Jack Nicholas how many how many masters or how many great majors have played in his career how many in the 30 40 years as a golfer 30 years for four majors, like it's a Champions League in comparison. How many? 120? 130? How many won? 18. Wow. How many? 18 with 130. He lose more than the win. That is a sport in football, in golf, in basketball. Michael Jordan, the best athlete for me, basketball, football player, won six NBA titles. How many years played? 16. He lose more than win. So this game, all games, they are so difficult. The important is to be here. And compete well, do our best, knowing that tomorrow at 9 o'clock you have to be perfect to try to get a good result to go to Germany. It's no more than that. I leave my profession in that way. And after that, I lose, I lose. I'm not perfect. I'm not good. I'm not, uh, you know, every time I touch, it will be always, it's going to do. The important is that still we are there. Still after winning what we won last season, I said many times, but that is my biggest compliment we can do as an organization, as a team. Still we are there. Hi, Pep. Uh, just on a wider issue, do you have a view on the, the incident yesterday in, between Andy Robertson and uh, an assistant referee? I hear it, but I didn't, I didn't see it. I was watching by Munich and Golf, so I, I saw highlights afterward, but in this question, I didn't see it. Right, so, or any thoughts on the wider issue of how the relationship... No, they told me something it. happened, but I didn't see the image, so I cannot comment. But it's weird. It, it, it happened what the people said to me. I said, well, it's happened? Yeah, it's happened, so I don't know what's happened. Um, you obviously come up against Thomas Tuchel tomorrow night, who, who beat you in the Champions League final in 2021. I know on Saturday you said you win some, you lose some, you know, it'd be a pleasure to see him. But how long did it take you personally to get over that, that defeat? Is, is it something that comes back to you a lot, or do you just get over it and put it behind you straight away? Well, I wasn't analysing, of course, it was sad, but I congratulated him and Chelsea for the victory, so it's happened. Reviewing the game a month later, so it was not as bad as I thought when when I saw the game. But in the same time, it was not a good good performance uh, at all. Uh, also, a good good performance maybe to win it, but uh, it was a tight tight game, like all have been when we played in that period against Chelsea. But uh, yeah, it's happened. So uh, forgot it and being tried again. You manager, I mean, and we like this as a player who thinks more about the defeats than the the trophies, the victories. A lot of players say that they're the ones that stick with them, the ones that got away. Do they stick with you more than the ones that you win? The defeats and the victories? Yeah. No, no. The same level. And daily, daily, yes. Maybe daily when when you win and maybe it's all you have to do. When you lose, you are more concerned. But about the titles we won in the past or the, or the feeds or you don't win, is 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 forgotten. It's the same. Sometimes you win when you don't deserve it. Sometimes you lose when you don't deserve it. So I don't I don't I don't pay my attention what happened in the past. I'm not living. I'm not happier when I remember my victories. I'm no more I'm so so depressed when I remember our defeat. So it's part it's part of the game. Pep, um, how how different is to prepare a game against a Bayern managed by Nagelsmann and a Bayern managed by to help. 
Well, both I, I think both are so creative managers. They shape the formations and the shape they play many times. We saw the three or four games that Thomas Tuchel with Bayern Munich played, and, and maybe tomorrow is going to do something new. So because they are so creative, both of them. So um, always we try to figure out the quality they have in all departments, in all departments. So. Uh, would have been difficult with uh, Nagelsmann, would be difficult with Tuchel, let's try, but in the same time, and I don't pay much, much attention about them and focus what we have to improve a little bit, our team, to, to do it well tomorrow. Hi, Pep. What were your thoughts when Thomas Tuchel got sacked by Chelsea, what, about 18 months after winning the Champions League? And now that he's back at Bayern again, what are your thoughts of that? Is he is he where, back where he belongs, do you think, as in terms of a major thing? So it's difficult for me to judge the reason why is the other clubs and the boards and the CEOs or the sport directors take a decision or hire a soccer manager, so I don't know. So well, I was a little bit surprised, like I was surprised now with Nagelsmann, so, but uh, I don't know the reason why. The reason why I cannot give a real, a real opinion. You know that when when a manager is sacked and the next point manager is doing well, 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 people say, "Well, good decision." And when it's completely the opposite, so the people miss the the old manager. So, but the, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. Pep, do you feel you're playing your best football of the season so far? Have you peaked at the right time? I know. In November, before the World Cup, you were saying it would be difficult to assess how everyone would be after a, a Winter World Cup. Do you feel you've timed it to perfection? Well, before the World Cup, I said I didn't know what happened after the World Cup because it's the first time we leave this situation, all the managers of the club, me included. So that's why I didn't know it. So what I can say is that the players react really well. If you say me you are in the good moment, I would say yes. But if you tell me about the first half in Southampton, I would say no. And in this competition, it's not about the form you are in the Premier League or FA Cup. It counts how you will perform 95 minutes during 90 minutes at 9 o'clock. It's the right tempo, right? This competition is to be good this, during these 95 minutes. It, that doesn't count what you have done three days ago. This competition. Because in Southampton you can play good or bad. You have a lot, eight, nine games to play. You're still or 10 or 11 or 12. Still there are moments. In this competition, you have to be perfect there. And look, who knows that? I don't know. If my decisions will be good, the players will perform well, the opening will be good or not. So that's why. The question is, tomorrow night be ready. Are you and really enjoying it? Um, still involved in the, the hunt for the treble? No, no, no. I'm so sad. <laughs> it's the, so it's sad. a happy time. I'm so sad. Hi, Pep. You've talked about this supposed overthinking recently. I know on Friday you talked about the Leon game and why you made the decisions for that. Sorry to go back to the, the Chelsea final again, but I don't think we've ever asked. Like, in terms of the changes that you and the coaching staff made for that night, what was the logic? What was the reasoning on, on, the, on that occasion? What Listen, did you see? I, I overthink, do you know why? Because I lose. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But no, regardless simple. of the result, it's what simple. was the... No, no, regardless of the result, no. Is the result... The result is the point. We're doing the same we could have win in both games. Rahim is a shot in the six-yard box. And Eddie alone, uh, David. So regardless of what thinking is, because we lose. But it's a question uh, about win, your decisions. What yeah, was the decision? I, have to, I had to take it. And there is a plenty of reason why I took that decision. Because that's that's uh, what I'd like to know. I think that's why yeah, yeah, people are interested. I think I answered in that time, so... Yeah, but, uh, but but I lose. So because the same doing, e even in many things like I'm overthinking and winning, either I'm a genius. Maybe the decision was wrong. In the, in that moment during the game, maybe in good things came for our side, and after we take a decision that was exceptional, and many things happen. So I took the decision every time because I think it's the best for that moment. Because I know the players, how they are perform, the opponents that they have. I take the decision, knowing that it's going well. Okay, it's a good decision. Going bad is a bad decision, but that is not important. So there are reasons why I take it decisions, and 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 I said 
the same time, also Chelsea played that game, always had an incredible structure, always was difficult to punish them, always was, you know, too difficult to, to, to attack them. So it's happened. So I don't give too much credit when it's going well to say, oh, God, how brilliant I was. In the same time, I'm, I'm not, I'm not neither the other one. I, I have to feel, uh, I'm convinced what I have to do, with the listen to the opponents, for my gut, for my stomach. That is the best right now in that moment. There are players that playing in that moment, now is not playing during the season, playing at players that are playing regularly and two months ago didn't play in not even one minute. Why change? No change anything. I see that uh, the players, I see how they connect between each other, I see the opponents, I see my feelings and take a decision. That's all. No, I completely appreciate that you may be uncomfortable that we judge based on the result. And if, it's, if you lose, then it's bad, and if you win, then it's good. But you said there, you take decisions for many reasons. That's... That's why I'm asking. I don't think we yeah, in but, the last two years we've asked yeah, but what, I, why you. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you anyway decisions I take against Lyon or against uh, Chelsea in that moment. That moment I'm going to uh, tell you what it was the decisions. But it, listen, it's not about a regret about that. It's the business. So it's not going to change now for making this comment. It's going not to change it now. So it's normal. I said before. When I take a decision, I take it for four or five or six reasons that anyone knows it, and just my players. Because before the game, I tell you, I plan the game for this reason, this reason, this reason, because the opening bit, the reason, the reason, the reason, or whatever. And after you say, it happened or not, it doesn't happen. So it happened, I was right, it doesn't happen. But anyone knows the reason why before. Like you judge, if you win or we lose. That's all. Or oh, the performance was nice or not nice. That's why, like, I have more info, but it's not time to say all the time what. They have to know the players. The players have to know it. That's all. Yes, um, Holland said after Leipzig that you did not buy him only to win the league because you know the league. How important is his lethalness in these big matches like this? Sorry. How important is Erling Braut Holland's lethalness because he said that you didn't uh, buy him only to win the league but uh, also the Champions League, you know? Yeah, Erling is so important for us. I cannot deny it. So how many goals and how influenced it is, but it's the same. He came, of course, to help us to to be here in the Champions League to try to win it. But at the same times to you know, in the same times to to help us in daily in the FA Cup in the Premier League as well. So, but, but is it different in these very tight big matches to uh, be able to get you over the line? Yeah, of course, it's important to have a player like uh, from nothing can score a goal. So of course, it's important. Of course it is, but at the same time we scored goals, many goals, many goals in many years. Champions League, I said many times, so against Monaco we scored six goals here and we are out. In Tottenham we scored four goals and we are out. In Madrid we scored four goals and we are out. So we scored many goals in this competition. Maybe we were not solid enough you know, to defend. So always I had the feeling that we scored with false nine, with uh, Sergio, with Gabriel, with Erling now, with... Uh, with David Silva, with Gundo, with Kevin, with uh, Wingers, with Rahim, with Leroy, with uh, Riyad now, with uh, Jack. Always we have, you know, we score goals. Always I think we, did, we was not, you know, the, 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 the problem in general. Hi, but, um, you said a few times that the reason you've decided to stay here for so long is because you feel comfortable. Um, is there something particular that the City have done for you to, to give you that level of comfort that perhaps you didn't have at, at Bayern, which meant you only spent three years at Bayern? No, 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 no. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, what the people say, I get more long, longer time here, I'm happier here. No, but I would say no. I was in my hometown, in my country, Catalonia, in my, my club. What a dream, you know, as a ball boy, you start and became a manager. And, and after they call me Bayern Munich, I also had the feeling when they Bayern Munich call you, you have to go. Because I think these trains pass, I think, once. So they, they don't come quite often to, to be manager for Bayern Munich. And when they call me, said, OK, maybe it's a good opportunity to go there. I don't regret one second what happened there, how good take care of me, my family there. And that was a good experience in, in many senses. And now I'm here. And when I came here, I said many times, I didn't expect to, to stay as long at, as we are. Because life, when you, you know, organize what you're going to have the future, normally doesn't work. So I'm here, and, and that's all. Pep, you've played against Thomas Tuchel's teams uh, in England and in Germany many times. What makes him so difficult to play against? His, his creativity. He's so creative manager, and 
and uh, and uh, yeah, a good build up and good connections, incredible good runners, attack really really good in the spaces and so yeah, so have done a manager have done uh, that perfect in Germany for his country, but after went to Paris and do really well, not just winning the French league or arrive in the final for the Champions League against Bayern Munich and. The way they play was really, really good, and Austin Chelsea did a good job. Hi, Pep. Um, just with regard to the Champions League defeat you just mentioned, Monaco, Real Madrid, Tottenham, etc., and you sort of said maybe not solid enough in defence, what can you do to change that? Is it just human error? Because on those occasions, was it just no. bad luck? or Attack better, of course. But to defend, we have to defend. Well, attack. The fact the fact that we can see the goals it doesn't mean tomorrow is going to happen or it's not going to happen. I'm not. It's just put an alliance with the question of, you know, the goals. The goals I think was not the big big problem. So we score goals, and of course we have to defend well. And, and we here in Germany, and of course they have a lot of weapons and threats for the speed, the quality they have. The mentality, but yeah, it's a good test for us. Uh, always when I do talk about buyer bias, how 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 we behave. So at the end, this kind of games we compete for against ourselves. <coughs> so yeah, again, again, like I said before, so the moment we start a game, we have to perform our best. And our best doesn't, of course, the opening is there, uh, but uh, we have to every one of us in all departments be focused and be what we are doing and what we have to do. Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, hi, Pep. Uh, from your big experience in Europe in the Champions League, uh, we all know how good Bayern is with their experience, but is it better to face a team with that mentality in the Champions League or, for example, another team with no experience with, but with an expected factor? So I'm talking about Napoli, who's doing so well, but with no Champions League experience. Thank you. Are you from Italy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's Napoli. I don't want to talk. Otherwise, the manager will be grumpy with me. So, he's so sensitive in Italy. Um, no, the the, the the teams the teams like uh, like Bayern Madrid, or they are used to you know to play there. As much you play this competition, as much you play it, um, as much you play. Quarterfinals, semi-finals, finals, semi-finals, finals, with the same players, it's easier. You know the environment, you know the feeling. You, you had the feeling, I, I've been here. I've been here before and I know what I have to when I have to do it. Of course, the fact the surprise for the new come like we were, if you, you know, because we played just one final Champions League final in our in our in our life, so so always you have something, you know. But in both sides, important is uh, again the moment you start the game, you be your best. This is what uh, what makes the absolutely the the um, the, the difference. Hi, Pep. Uh, Bayer just have conceded two goals in this Champions League so far. Uh, you expecting a really close team for the match tomorrow? Maybe Bayer can control uh, this first leg. Try to to have a great result to to decide at home? From my point of view, Bayern is not a team built to just thinking it's going to happen the second leg. It's built to come here to win. From my experience, when I was there, I had the feeling that it doesn't matter where you play, you have to be Bayern Munich, you have to to try to win. If they defend more than maybe usual, it's because we are doing well. But uh, if you are not doing well, we are going to defend more than usual. Not because I think the approach from Bayern Munich is coming here, set back, defend 90 minutes, make a two or three transitions, and after we'll see what happens in Allianz Arena. I don't think so, but at the same time, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Hey, Ruben. Um, what do you think is going to be the key to Manchester City getting into the semi-finals of this competition? Well, I think, uh, first of all, and uh, more than anything else, ambition. I think ambition will be the key, because... It will definitely be a, a balanced game between two two very good teams. So I think the details will make the difference. There's a there's a theory that because the Bundesliga is not at the same level, really as as the Premier League, that this should be a game that that you win with a little bit to spare. Maybe do you not 
kind of agree like that? I think we're way past that question uh, by now, and especially by after everything uh, Bayern has done, uh, always. Uh, so we know we're up against uh, a difficult side. And uh, obviously, Premier League is different from Bundesliga. But in the end, in this competition, uh, um, we know we know how balanced uh, it will be between us. So um, we we're very sharp, knowing that all details will matter. Hi, Ruben. Um, Joe Cancelo is obviously a player you know very well from the Portugal team and from here. How, how strange is it going to be to, to play against him, given that he's still a Manchester City player in, in theory? Yeah, I must confess it will be, it will be strange, uh, just because not uh, very long ago we, we were fighting together. Uh, but it is what it is. It's football. Uh, it's the life we live. And uh, decisions have been made. And in a way, uh, it will be good to, to play against him and, and to see him again. Have you been in touch since the draw was made? Or? Well, I guess that uh, especially after our time here together, we, we build a close relationship, uh, especially me, him and Bernardo, and we kind of uh, are always in touch. So, yes, we've been, we've been, we've been in contact, but uh, when, the game, when the game starts, uh, each one of us will be on, on his own side. Oi, Jorge, tudo bem? Um, Bayern just changed that manager recently and you were on the pitch on that Champions League final against the Chelsea that Thomas Tuchel was the manager of. Did it get more difficult to have that manager now on the other side? I guess it's essentially it resumes in uh, new routines for a team that you could probably uh, be studying from everything they've done uh, since the beginning of the season until now. And suddenly everything changes, and I think that imprevisibility uh, it's the, mo uh, the most difficult thing to 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 catch up with uh, anyway we've we've been in this context and we've played against teams that had this change, so we will will do our best to be ready Hi Ruben. It was only a few weeks ago, a few months ago that city were quite inconsistent couldn't win too many games in a row that have disappointing performances like maybe Tottenham away but now it's the usual high level that we expect from City in April and May what do you think's changed in that period to go from that to where City are now? Well uh, it is what it is and what's done it's done and I guess that all of us we've, we've got a, a special feeling a special taste when it comes to this stage and uh, when it comes to decisions um, obviously, uh, now is the time to be to be together and to be producing and to be to be out there on the pitch uh, doing what we can do best. Uh, every every one of us, and uh, this is the moment to go through or not. Um, and like I said before, I think our team gets fed by these moments, and uh, I think that's a very good characteristic to have in your in your own space of work. You may say the same thing again in terms of what's done is done, but earlier in the season when. You were out of the team and you had injuries, but now obviously you're back and you're playing fantastically. Again, was that was that difficult f period for you earlier in the season? That's the first time at City you've you've come in and, and not really been playing so much. How did you get through that period? It is what it is. It's football, uh, and it's part of our job to be ready for it and just to 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 find the answers. Uh, obviously, uh, in the team, but uh, first of all, and for you to be part of the team, find the answers in yourself. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's about staying positive and uh, keep believing in what you do and uh, keep doing the best you can do to make sure you're the, you, you help the team the most you can with, with your uh, own ability. And uh, like I said before, it's football um, and football changes and that's why you always need to keep sharp. Ruben, do you have uh, even more drive and, and energy and determination to succeed in, in this competition, given what happened last season and the season before in the, in the final? Yeah, I think the anger is the same as always. Uh, it's a special competition, as you all know. And, uh, and especially for us, uh, we, we really want to be in it. And uh, we, we, we want to see it through. So um, it, it will be a, a very difficult match. Um, but in a way, uh, it's what this competition is all about. Big games and just going through and beating the best. So that's where we are. Uh, it's the moment of decisions and uh, we're happy to be here. And is this the most enjoyable time of the season for you? Still involved in, in three competitions, uh, chasing, chasing a, a treble? Is it... Yeah, definitely. I, th I think that every season that begins, 
the work you have to do is to stay in uh, Premier League, uh, Champions League, the Cups. Um, the biggest goal you have is to stay in as long as you can. And in the end, you'll get to this moment uh, in which decisions are made. Uh, we've made it so far, but we know that even though we've done very well, and if we look back, we've done very well, but it's not enough. Because in the end, either you do it or not. So we're very aware of that, we're very conscious, and uh, we know we, we still have a lot of work to do. Guys, I've got quite a long list of them trying to stick to one each to get through as many as we can. Hi, Ruben. Um, the Champions League is the big one that City haven't won yet. How hard is it for you to get over things like the defeat in the final? Do, does that live with you, or do you think that the chance will come again? Like a very wise man once said to me, uh, we didn't lose the final, we just got one step closer. Uh, I keep these words to myself very close, because in the end that's the only way to see it, if you want to really uh, keep pursuing it. Uh, so every year it's all about us getting closer and closer and making steps forward and making our name be more and more loud. So we, we're still in the pursuit and we'll keep fighting. Who was the wise man that told you that? <laughs> I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> you've, you've obviously been here um, a few years now. Is, do you feel a difference in the performance level of the team at this stage of the season this year? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You've been here a few years. Do you feel like the performance level of the team is any different at this stage this year to previous seasons? I think it's one of them you cannot compare. Every year it's different. Um, obviously also uh, different players. Uh, but one thing is for sure, um, at least the last two years I've been here, when we arrive to this stage, we're there and uh, we're ready. I cannot compare because, like I said, different players, um, every year football changes. But I can guarantee you that uh, once again we're here and we'll fight for, for everything. Hi, Ruben. Um, it must have been tough for you to be injured after the World Cup um, and it was tough for City while you were out. Um, do you feel like you found your best football again and City have found their best football again in this part of the season? Well, um, kind of two questions in one. Uh, obviously, I'm happy. I'm happy that uh, the team is producing, and uh, obviously, to to be to be part of it um, in every way possible. It's it's obviously for us players the the ultimate joy because to be part of the process, it's 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 important for us in any way possible. And obviously, um, in relation to my injury, it was a difficult time. Uh, the last two games of the World Cup, I, I played them uh, injured, um, and it was not uh, an easy period, especially because of the the importance of the the competition. But gladly, uh, I've come uh, come back, um, and, uh, and I'm again here to to help. Hi, Ruben. Um, so, Bayern have Sane, Mane. Nabari, Musalia and Alfonso Davies, all very fast players. Can they frighten you in this tie? Well, we have some names as well. We've got Kyle Walker, we've got Manu, we've got me, we've got Nathan, we've got John Stones, we've got Aime, uh, we've got Sergi, so we've also got our, our, our names. So that's interesting because a criticism of the defence is that Walker apart, there isn't a lot of pace, but you would back your pace against Sorry, those sir? players. A criticism of the City defence is that apart from Kyle, the lack of pace there, but you would back your defence against the pace of Bayern. We'll see. Why? Sorry? Why, why will we see? Well, you'll see on the pitch. Oh. Ruben, uh, just going back to that uh, Champions League final in 2021, can you just recall what was kind of going through your mind that night after the game? What, do you think like, it was a sort of a missed opportunity or why it went wrong and... And how do you think the team's developed since since that night? You mean the the final? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the precise day the wise man told me those words. And uh, if there was any moment in which I was dwelling with the moment, because uh, it's never easy uh, to to lose a final like that. Um, but if in any moment there was doubt, um, the moment I, I listened to these words, uh, it all made more sense. I've never, I'm never the guy to, to think too much about, oh, we, we've, we've just lost a, a big opportunity. I'll, I'll probably in the next five minutes be looking for the next one and be thinking that next, next year we go again. But indeed, those, those words made uh, a lot of echo in my mind.